Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit here on a set of Corsa with probably still one of my favorite drift cars, the basic Corolla from a set of Corsa. We're here gonna be sliding on the mountains, so make sure you guys follow me on all social media, I'll let you find the description box below. Let's get to it. So this car just absolutely looks so good and probably still one of my favorite drift cars here on a set of course it looks like we got somebody else that maybe wants to do some tandems I mean I'm down we'll see if we actually uh, can hang I don't know where he went Still back there? He's still back there. Probably still one of my most favorite drift cars in the game, like I said. It's just so fun to drive. And it has enough power to just have a good time. But also throw some fun lines I think this man behind me is uh I think he's done I think he's gone and just driving this car through say mountain roads or on street style tracks or low speed corner tracks is just so much fun and it still has to be some of the most fun I've ever had Ooh, was with this car as we just go head on into a guardrail. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about the guardrail, but like, it's just back to full basics of drifting in this Corolla. Just full flat throttle, just kind of matted as fast as you can go. Throw in the car's weight as much as possible. To get the car to really slide. And run some really nice tight lines. Don't really need a handbrake to use it, but you know, it's kind of fun to go into that ditch. It's fun to throw the handbrake to get the car to slide a little bit at faster speeds. Because this car does not like to break loose at super high speeds. By super high speeds, I mean like over 60 miles an hour because we are in a Corolla. But I mean, just the sheer joy of just throwing this car around is more than enough fun, I feel. Oh, wall tap. Definitely need a handbrake there to adjust the car from that uh, little guardrail hit. Most of the time you can just use the brakes to kick this car, but this is really back to grassroots basics of drifting. Low power. Ooh, as I almost lose the grip of my wheel, low power, and a lot of just commitment into the corner. It's gonna be a long, dirty Forza e brake grab. This car is just a full commit kind of car. The slide. Right there, it was a little bit over a commitment. <laughs> but it has its moments of greatness. If you guys watched the earlier episode of the Togi Runs, I was running this car on semi slick tires, trying to chase down some faster cars, and I was able to chase down a lot of faster cars 
with a basic Corolla. Ball commit corner. Wall. So we're gonna have that. Let's kick ourselves out of that one to correct that one. Oh! I wasn't sure if that barrel was actually uh, going to uh, let me through it. This r throws back to me for basically drifting in Horizon and stuff like that in low powered streetcars and just having a lot of fun. Not worrying about, you know, heavy powered competition cars or competition tracks or clipping zones. Kind of just flowing with the road and kind of doing what I can do in the car and have a lot of fun with it. I should have I should have went for a 360 there. So let me know down in the comments what your go-to back fun car is that you always go back to that you enjoy drifting or the first car that you really enjoy drifting. For me it had to have been this Corolla or the E30 factory a set of Corsa cars because I feel the physics are still such a viable physics base on these cars and uh, I think people uh, take these physics for granted because these do feel quite nice on these cars. We got it. We're good. And we're just flowing this mountain road right now. I didn't need to. I thought that was a lot tighter than it was. We're going to try a full commit entry. Oh, bog that down. This car had a little bit more power if it was like boosted. I feel this car would be so much better. Maybe case swapping it or something like that would make this car that much better. And I think I may take this car and put a little bit more power in it and run it how it is. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of us will find in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great holiday weekend with St. Patrick's Day. Stay safe. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.